This is a wonderful opportunity for all of us. Um, is there anyone here who has never meditated before? Can I just see if there's... Yes, okay. I thought that you would be attracted here because you know what meditation can be. Um, it's very important for those of us that are in, in this conference um, that we continue with our spiritual practices, as Vandana said uh, today, that our spiritual practices give us the focus of our energies and the elevated consciousness of our energy to be able to make decisions, choose things for ourselves and for our families and for things that will influence the world that will be a positive influence. And one of the reasons that uh, we tend to say that the that climate change doesn't stir up fear and anxiety in us is because we have that strength of inner practice that um, instead of remaining where the fears are or the anxiety in, in this uh, lower area of our bodies, we bring the energy up to a, a space in which we can interiorize our consciousness and our energy and become more deeply aware of what our purpose in life is. And specifically for us here in this conference, how that might uh, relate to that, the topic of climate change. So our meditation today is focused on climate change and especially on the aspect of bringing peace into our own lives and into the lives of others and helping to calm the, the tornado, hurricane uh, vibration of the world that is expressed in climate change in order to bring about a change in climate. So in our meditation, we can uh, be in our higher self, in our higher consciousness, and ha be more effective for change in our own lives and the lives of others. I'd like to read you something talking about uh, higher self and realizing that higher self. Something that Paramahansa Yogananda wrote about self-realization. He said, self-realization is the knowing in all parts of body, heart, mind, and soul, that we are one with the omnipresence of God, and that we don't have to pray that it come to us, that we are not merely near it at all times, but that God's omnipresence is our omnipresence that we are just as much a part of God now, in this moment, as we ever will be. All we have to do is improve our knowing. All we have to do is improve our knowing of who we are and that oneness that we are in with the omnipresence of God. So we're going to do a chant together uh, called One with the Infinite Om. Many of you know Om as the uh, vibration that uh, came out from spirit to, there are many stories of creation, you know, and everyone valid and, and belie believed in, in uh, different parts of the world. So Yogananda says that Om was the vibration that came out from infinite spirit, and in that vibration, there was sound created, and that sound, that vibration is Om, or Amen in the Christian tradition, Amin. Uh, and when we vibrate with Om, if we're chanting it, if we're singing the sound, or if we are feeling it vibrating within us, we can experience that oneness that Yogananda's words talked about. So we're going to chant. The words are fairly simple. 
what is this life flowing through my veins? Can it be other than divine? In thy light, in thy love, in thy joy, I am one. I am one with the infinite Om. And we'll sing it long enough for you to pick up on the words and the melody.
Now with closed eyes, with the spine straight in whatever position you choose to sit, become aware of that energy. Chanting often will awaken our awareness of the energy within the body. And if you want to become more aware of that energy, tense, inhale with a double breath and tense the whole body now. From toes to head, tense and vibrate. And exhale and relax. Again, tense, inhale. Exhale and relax. One more time. And let your breath flow as it freely flows without any attempt to control it. But bring your mind to an awareness of the breath where it is easiest for you to perceive it. It might be the breath that moves the diaphragm or the lungs. You might be aware of the breath in the nostrils. Wherever you can most easily perceive it, let your mind Focus on the dance of your breath within. And this practice of focusing the mind is one of the most important for being able to go deep within in meditation. So whatever outward things take the mind away, when you realize it, bring the mind back gently to its focus on the breath. And because the mind tends to get carried away with its own inner conversation. We're going to give the mind words to mentally repeat. This technique of Hong So is a technique that uses Hong as the sound for the inhalation, but an inward expression, not outward. And So repeated with the exhalation. And if you prefer, you can, the, it means I am spirit, I am he, Hong So. But you can also repeat words that have a meaning for you. I am spirit, I am peace, I am love. I am joy. With the inhalation, I am. And the exhalation, the word that you would identify with in this meditation. As the mind focuses on the breath and on Hong Sa, or I am 
peace. <clears throat> the breath becomes calmer and the mind becomes calmer. And if you haven't yet watched the breath in the nostrils, come to that point now, using the coolness of the inhalation in the nostrils to focus your awareness there. And let your awareness of that cool air entering the nose. Bring your awareness higher in the nostrils with each inhalation. So that still without controlling the breath in any way, letting it flow naturally, Bring your awareness of the breath ever higher in the nose until you come to the point where the air enters into the nasal cavity just behind the point between the eyebrows and focus there on the breath. And if you have difficulty feeling the breath at that point. Visualize it, fanning this point between the eyebrows, referred to as the spiritual eye. And continue to keep the mind focused on the breath at the point between the eyebrows and on Hong So. Hong with the inhalation, So with the exhalation. And if there's a particular quality you want to affirm in yourself, continue to repeat, I am peace, joy, love, light, harmony. Without tension, with the body still relaxed, continue to be aware of the breath and the mantra with the inhalation and exhalation, the natural flowing breath. If you find the mind trying to control the breath, bring the mind back to focus on the dance, the movement of the breath and the mantra. If you're well focused, you may find that 
the pauses between the breaths become longer without forcing, without trying to hold the breath. Become aware of those pauses between the breaths. And we will continue now in silence. You can stop the mantra if you like. If it's still serving a purpose, continue it. And we'll continue in silence. For a little less than 20 minutes.
to remain very focused at the point between the eyebrows. Yogananda said, we must learn to pierce the veil of darkness behind closed eyes with the arrow of our concentration. Focus there. And Jesus said, if thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And the yogis in a similar way say, when the mind is deeply calm, the inner light spontaneously appears. The masters also teach that in order to deeply calm the mind, the energy in the body has to flow up the spine toward the brain. So I'd like to just ask you to visualize with me that we drop our mind down into the base of the spine and we look up through that tunnel up toward the spiritual eye. You can even squeeze the muscles of the anus slightly just to help place your awareness at the very base of the spine. Looking up toward the spiritual eye as if you're looking through a tunnel. And we're going to float up from the base of the spine, our awareness is going to float up toward the spiritual eye, through the different centers in the spine, just like a balloon, begin to float up, keep looking at the point between the eyebrows as it becomes slowly ever more near. And as we ascend the spine, all the energy, any energy that we haven't already brought to the spiritual eye is going to follow from the body and the organs and the senses and it will follow us up the spine. So we're bringing all awareness, all energy of the body up to the spiritual eye. And you can even see that energy of the nervous system and of the organs as light. If thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Light is within and around me, protecting me, helping me to banish all fear. Light is my indwelling self. Light is the life of the whole universe. I am a submerged in eternal light. Light permeates every particle of my being. I am living in that light. The light of divine spirit fills me within and without. Light is just behind my reason, just behind my thoughts. Light is every day guiding me to do the right thing always.
Light is the life of the whole universe. And it is in that light that I can bless the universe, bless this world, bless my loved ones, bless Finhorn, bless this blessed community in the light I can bless the world's environment when mass consciousness is agitated nature becomes agitated if we calm the mind and perceive the light we can help calm others in this world. We can help Mother Nature. Feel that you are permeated with that light. All your energy is at this point between the eyebrows and it's from that point that we're going to feel ourselves becoming part of this world. Part of the life, part of the light that is sustaining everything in this life. The trees, the rivers, all creatures, Feel yourself expanding in that light. All through creation. The light that permeates and vibrates all life is in you. Light is the vehicle that allows us to expand our consciousness into nature. this infinite light. This light is the divine light that permeates everything. focalized energy, with our focalized attention. Let's use the sound of Om and Amen. Let's use the power of that light that is Om and Amen. The light and sound of creation is Om and Amen. (coughs) And let's rub our hands together so that we can feel the vibration in our hands, feel the energy in the palms and in the fingers. And we're going to send out through our spiritual eye in this this light blessings throughout all of Mother Nature, all creatures, all beings.
I would like to leave you with this prayer for a united world, which Yogananda prayed many years ago when there was equal need in the world for a united world. <clears throat> Let us pray in our hearts for a league of souls and a united world. Though we may seem divided by race, creed, color, class, and political prejudices, still, as children of the one God, we are able in our souls to feel brotherhood and world unity. May we work for the creation of a united world in which every nation will be a useful part, guided by man's enlightened conscience. In our hearts, we can all learn to be free from hate and selfishness. Let us pray for harmony among the nations, that they march hand in hand through the gate of a fair new civilization. And perhaps in this moment we could chant Om one more time in deep gratitude for the gift of life and for all that we are trying to do to create a better future for ourselves and our children. And also to express gratitude to Fintorn as a community for hosting this conference on climate change and consciousness, and to all those that we know have worked very hard and are still giving of their time, their energy, their love and harmony and peace to make this conference happen. Let's also include those that are tuned in with live streaming because there are people who have meditated with us all over the world and we acknowledge and are grateful for their presence and we'll also include a blessing for them in our blessing of Finhorn and of this conference. you all. Thank you for your participation. This is very special. Thank you. Thank all of you and may your life be a blessed balance of the wonderful service that we all need to do to work on climate change and deeper and deeper inner experience of your own higher self in order to achieve the all that you are capable of doing in this lifetime. Mm -hmm.